They'd been warned to expect a storm of historic proportions, and Sandy didn't disappoint. Across the northeast, more than six million Americans are without power this morning as the aftermath becomes evident in the light of day. Parts of New York City underwater, the result of a record-breaking storm surge. Sandy has been devastating and deadly. In New York and New Jersey, people lost their lives to a superstorm of freakish dimensions. Seawater flooded the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel and Wall Street is closed for another day due to power cuts. That is the lower end of Manhattan. We have not seen anything like this in nine years. In August of 2003, the great blackout happened in the Northeast and New York City went black. This is the next time. The great storm of 2012 has done it this time. The water overwhelmed low-lying areas, gushing into Manhattan's tunnels and flooding the city's subway. Oh, I missed it. In Brooklyn, the storm took out a transformer station in spectacular what fashion. What the f is this? Elsewhere, the front of this apartment block was ripped away. In Queens, more than 50 homes have been completely destroyed by a major fire caused by the storm. Hundreds of firefighters battled the flames. Flooding hampered their efforts. A construction crane collapsed in Sandy's high winds and continues to dangle precariously over midtown Manhattan. Engineers are still trying to inspect the damage and people living nearby were told to leave. Uh, these are not games. We've said from the very beginning this is a once-in-a-long-time uh, storm. Uh, the surge is very high. We expected it to be high. It's in fact slightly higher than what was forecasted by the, those that talked about the highest estimate. Uh, we have to get, get the, the emergency services to where they are needed. It isn't just New York. The storm hit hundreds of miles of coastline. At one end, Connecticut left awash, homes flooded, boats left overturned and fires raging. At the other, North Carolina, battered with homes washed away. Atlantic City in New Jersey was among the hardest hit. Parts of its famous boardwalk ripped up and carried out to sea. It'll be many days before they can even begin to repair the damage up and down the East Coast. Even as the worst of the storm passed, high winds continued to cause damage to casinos and homes. And Sandy isn't finished yet, churning inland and northward, still packing winds, rain and snow. A fifth of Americans have been affected by it. Tens of thousands remain without power. I'm currently by candlelight because there is absolutely no power anywhere in the block. I was shocked at the amount the building actually sways and uh, I'm currently lying on the ground in my living room because the building is swaying that much. Hospital patients have been moved after backup generators failed. How long it will take the East Coast to return to normal is anyone's guess. A week away from a critical presidential election, no one's mind is on politics. The most densely populated slice of the country is reeling. A storm the like of which America has never seen and never wants to again. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, New Jersey.